welcome to my channel IT smart training now we are going to start 14 hour training video so this is my computer this is the computer which is connected directly to my firewall LAN network so that my the scenario is I just, just show you the scenario my scenario is I have an internet connection this is my internet cloud this is my internet cloud this is connected directly to my firewall devices firewall devices this network is 192.168.100.x network and this is connected to a LAN switch to a LAN switch this there is connected and this which connected with my PC is connected to my PC okay and this network is 192.168.1 Slash 24. Okay, this is the network. So the firewall default IP address is 192.168.1.x. Okay, this is the default IP address of firewall which we need to connect the firewall. So just I open the browser, type the IP address of firewall, just uh, before con before connect this firewall, I have I just want to see you. That is see default gateway is my one ninety nine one dot ninety nine and I got an IP address one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one one zero. Uh, this IP address is uh, taken from firewall. Um, because by default uh, the firewall has configured a DHCP address DHCP service so just see here the DHCP enabled and that's why I got uh, that IP address via DHCP from uh, Fortinet firewall so the firewall IP address is 1.1.1.90 and I got an IP address 1.1.1.1.0 So this is the firewall by default portal where we connect the firewall so the username is admin and password is blank just logged in I have a notification for registration no need to registration right now so this is the firewall dashboard where we can get all of the information of firewall this is the host name of the firewall this is the serial number of firewall NAT is enabled in my firewall high availability is not configured yet date and time for my versions these are the system informations mm, are uh, showing that dashboard as well as there is some licensing features and licensing uh, pages appeared so if I want to renew the license it will write to the support.fortinet.com where we, where we uh, renew my license so we can also activate the Fortinet cloud with an email address 
as well as there has some features are there like advanced routing advanced routing means i told you bgp ospf this kind of routing protocols are supported by this firewall ipv6 also supported vpn wi-fi controller security features is just like antivirus application control dlp email filter and so on one more cool thing is uh, you can see here that is uh, the CPU uses of this firewall, memory uses of this firewall, and the disk uses of this firewall. This is the cool features of firewall where we can monitor the uh, resource utilization of the firewall. Okay, so this is the dashboard of the firewall where we can monitor. Here is a CLI connect. You can type in command or uh, something. You can type if you know the CLI command. You can also configure this firewall via CLI. So this is the Fortinet firewall box uh, dashboard. If you like my videos, please share and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press bell icon for get advanced notifications or notifications of my uploaded videos. Thank you. Thank you viewers.